Welcome to this tutorial. This is a tutorial about Compton. How is it possible that you make your system so awesome? Well, that's of course a personal perception, but how can you make it transparent? How can you make it that it has a shadow? And when you move over it, it changes? Maybe you hate it. That's okay. We'll show you where to change it. We are on Arch Merged. We have i3. And it's in here. We have a separate Compton comp file, and that's the one you need to change if you don't like what you see. Now we are here on Atom, and we are now here on uh, Genie. I do not like this look here; it's so too white for my eyes. I go to Compton here in Atom. So let's scroll and make it a little bit bigger. Guys who have a screen tearing. Now, there are always people who have different hardware, obviously. And it works if you change this back end. If you change it to GLX, try it out and see how, if it improves things. We on our computers here, the Arch Merge team, do not have problems with XRender. But um, a lot of hardware out there, so change these lines here. That's for the screen tearing things. So this is all GLX stuff in here if you make it uh, active. Here is actually where it works, it starts uh, our um, content conf. You want shadow or not? Yes or no? False. All right, shadow is gone. Eric, the shadow is still there. Control, shift, reload. Shadow is gone, I tell you. Yeah, if you don't, well, I do think it's still there. So we'll probably need to reload. Let's do give it a try and do it all the way. How to log off again? Windows Super X. Log out and log back in. Press on Windows. And are there now shadows? I do think they are killed. So it's not so bad without shadows. Not so bad at all. So okay, we changed something now. We changed this content. And uh, let's kill this one. I don't want you. I want Atom. I want our Compton Conf. So this one, yeah. Open with. And I'm going to tell him forever and ever to open with Atom. And let's wait. And there it is. So what we did now is change one little thing. Let's remember the line 63. False. So no shadows anymore. You can change the radius and you can change uh, offset and all that, make it bigger, smaller. These are the default things. So I've made it a little bit smaller. <laughs> I even tried it to make it red in one of my tutorials. You can see it's a shadow that's red. It's not nice, but okay. I just wanted to try and see if it works. But it does work if you want to have... Um, I had the teaming going on with a red skull and blood and all that. So the shadow was then appropriately made red. Um, shadow exclude. We don't want to have shadows on some of the items. That's what this is. There are uh, conditions that we do not want to see. A shadow like a conky. We don't want that. And then opacity. If you don't like menu opacity, this is menu opacity. You can see a little bit through it. Not much. 0 0.9. It's nothing. So default if you don't want that can change that well that one as well and save that one here save so no menu opacity anymore make it make it a little bit smaller then we could change inactivity if you say I don't want that this inactivity opacity that's when Things are uh, not active, as you can see, changes color. If you say, oh, ah, all these lighting, all these effects, don't want these effects. Reloading things will not have effect, as you can see. We need really to log out again and make sure that Compton is reloaded. Yeah, Genie is standard installed. If you want to get rid of that, let's quickly do it. It's all good for the tutorial. So 
So control find genie. And again, find genie. It says execute genie here. So every time I log off, I log on. And now it says execute atom. And that's better. So that's done for next time. Oh yeah, so how about it? No change anymore? No. If you go from left to right, the colors are the same. It will not change. What does change is the border. A little bit, if you see it, let's change from wallpaper. Uh, maybe you can see it on the video as well. The light orange and light and darker orange. That's due to the code in here. That's down in the config file. That's very much down there. So it has nothing to do with content. Um, what else? We're completely changing our system. So if it's not active, it's not going to use the alpha step. So that's okay. Let's get rid of this so we can read more better. What else? Fading. Do we have fading now? Yep, we do have fading. So everything is fading away, and fading back. Do we want that? No, nope, we don't want that. So we go to the, let's get rid of some stuff here. Content conf, check, all the way down. We were here at fading, true, false, no fading. What the heck, no fading. So all these things down here will not apply since it's now fading. Control S, um, reload, let's try again, reload. Um, if anything happens, no, it's still fading, so log off, log on, and then let's delete something, bam, gone. It's what you like, it's instantly, it's faster, it feels faster because it's not fading now. And um, let's get something better. So that's good. My screen key is gone. That happens when you log on all the time. Screen key. So now we have a totally different, it feels different. It's the same system, of course. It feels different when we click something there's no no shadow anymore there is no fading anymore and what else did we change fading shadow and another element i can't remember now but this is what you can do you can change your content conf and experiment with it and do take a copy maybe i should have said that in the beginning but there are backups there are backups down in here already but before you start, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then start experimenting. Not before, but not after. Well, you know what I mean. Make backups and then try. I think um, this feels completely different again. Uh, it's up to you to decide what um, system you like, what your settings are. Let's have a look at the wallpaper. Okay. Fine. And let's conclude this tutorial. Enjoy figuring out and making changes to your content conf because as you can see it, it, it improves or it uh, changes your system radically and it's up to you to decide what you want eventually. Linux is freedom. Choose.